Hey guys, it's Gary. Welcome back to Thrifty and OKC. If you are just joining me for the first time, I am a reseller, an avid thrift store shopper who lives in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And I like to do what sold videos on occasion, but mostly a lot of haul videos, which is what I'm going to be doing for you today. I like to show people who maybe live in cities that are not super metropolitan, um, kind of what you can find at the thrift store and that there is still good stuff out there. So today I'm actually going to share a haul for you from the flea market. That way I got some, a few things over the weekend. It was kind of a a mini haul. One of the best things that I got, I did show a picture up on my Instagram and I'm not going to show that to you um, because my husband has already commandeered it, is I got a lot of original Game Boy. I got an original Game Boy and then I got several original Game Boy games still in the boxes with the manuals, which he was super pumped about. Um, and that was kind of my big find <laughs> for the weekend, just because you don't see that a lot. The people who had it actually were only charging 70 bucks for the whole entire set. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's actually a little different than my YouTube name. It is Lucky Thrift OKC, but go over and check it out and you can see just the little snapshot of some of the stuff that I got there. But the set that I got for me that has not been commandeered, um, I did get quite a few shiny bright ornaments, just some basic teal and red ones. I had a place that did a fill a bag sale for $2. They were going out of business. And so I stocked up on those to put in like bowls and stuff for Christmas. But again, I'm not gonna pull all that out for you. I also picked up some books. You guys have heard me mention that I do a little free library in my yard. And so I'm always on the look out for cheap books. And so I got all three of these uh, for a dollar. This is a little Anna Loves Elsa. I guess Anna technically loves Elsa. And it's a cute little pop-up book that's actually in really good shape. So I snatched that up for sure. Somebody hopefully will get that out of the little free library. I got this um, Whiskers and Tails Point and Match little book here. And it's kind of like a little look and find type book for little people. And then I got this Never Touch a Dinosaur. And it just has different like textured things on here. So they were in pretty decent shape. And I try to get like some nicer looking books to put in, especially for the little people. And so... That was um, something that I thought was a good little find there. I'm always excited to find books, which is such a silly thing because you can almost always find books at garage sales and stuff. But cute ones that are nice that I can put in the library, I enjoy. I take a lot of pride in that, that little free library that I have. Um, I also picked these little Converse up for my son. They're size four. He is in a three right now, but if you have a little person, you know that... They can literally go to bed and wake up the next day and be in a totally different shoe, pants, shirt size, whatever. He is in a three right now, so these were still still looks good. The backs are worn off of them, but that's not that big of a deal. I like him too because they're Velcro, and he does not like to tie shoes. So a lot of his high tops he refuses to wear because he has to tie them. Then I picked up, so this was really interesting. I thought, um, I picked this up, and initially I thought it was a camera strap. And I thought it was really cute because it had the daisies on them and uh, then realized it was in fact a guitar strap, but sometimes I've been able to finagle a guitar strap into a camera strap. And so I thought, eh, I'll get it if it's, if the price is right. And, um, I ended up paying $10 for two things I got and I'll show you the other one here in a minute, but it's actually a Bobby Lee guitar strap. So if you look these up on eBay, they're worth pretty good money. So I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna wind up trying to sell this at some point versus finagle it into a camera strap for myself. I mean, some of these sell for like a hundred bucks. So um, again, there's the, the name that's on it right there. So and I, I think it's, it seems like it's in decent shape. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, but overall I didn't see any with this flower print. And I think that's, that's really cool. I mean, if, if a lot of them were manlier looking which is fine, but if you were a lady looking for a cool vintage strap, I think somebody might snatch that up. So then I also picked up, and I always, I've shown these before, um, but if you're new, you may not have seen, I picked up one of these basket type bags. These are amazing market bags. So I got this and I got the camera strap for 10 bucks both together. Uh, these are called Sissel Totes, S-I-S-A-L, if um, you look them up. And I can typically sell these or hoard them. I have several of my own because they're just awesome because they're round like that. But I can usually sell these for $65 or $70. So, um, and they sell really quickly for me. And again, I think it's because they're just great to carry. 
uh, around a market or something. So that's those two there. And then of course, you know, I had to get some jewelry because I always have to get some jewelry. There was a lady um, who was out and she had some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces, some really pretty sterling. Um, <clears throat> I did not purchase any. Uh, she had it priced basically at retail and I didn't see anything that I couldn't live without in that regard. But I did pick up a few pieces from her and I really enjoyed talking to her. So this first one is a little unmarked um, parrot. And if you've seen me before or watched my videos before, I like bird necklaces. I do a lot of wooden ones. But even with this dress, that would be such a cute little necklace with the dress I have on right now to wear to work. I paid $2 for that one. And then this one I broke on my own, but I still bought because I really liked it. I'm gonna glue the, so I've got the back right here. I'm gonna glue that back back on. I popped the back off. But this one was four, five. This one was five for the set and there was a little pin and these two little earrings. And I felt like even though they're not from the 60s because they're post back and that's unlikely, they kind of have a very mod vibe. And I debate, it could be kind of fun, the post is at the top on this one, but since I accidentally popped this one off, could be kind of fun to put them like that to where you've got them different. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what you think if you wore them two different ways. Kind of funky, something different. So I paid, blah, 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 blah. I paid five for those. And then my last item I got, and I felt like this one was a steal. And she said it needed to be restrung is why she had it priced so low. So, and you can see there's a little bit of gap there. But look at this beauty. And she said they were all natural stones and they're cold um, to the touch like stones would be. But I just thought this was stunning. And so I only paid $3 for this one. Look how beautiful that is. If you can see that hopefully up there and it doesn't look too blurry. It's just a really pretty necklace with that stone right there. So three bucks. I mean, I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Show that one up there. And of course, I, uh, she said that she believes it was handmade, which I would guess as well. It's got kind of a modern clasp on it. And again, it probably does need to be restrung because there are some gaps in there. And it is on a cheaper string, which she pointed out. She's like, normally I do that with some kind of like twine. And this is like string string. Um, but the stones themselves were just, I felt like really, really stunning bright colors. And I loved it. So anyway, that's my mini haul from the weekend. Not too much, but I felt like I got some quality things. And I'm really interested to put that guitar strap up and see what it sells for and hope it finds a good home. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any information on anything I showed, even though it wasn't a lot of items because it is a mini haul, please feel free to leave any info down below. I'm always open to learning new information and I love it when people know more about something than I do. So. Um, of course, lastly, please subscribe if you want to see more videos of mine. I greatly appreciate it. Every subscriber helps me as I'm working to grow my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I didn't check that before I started, but if I do, you know, I hope you enjoyed laughing at me while I talked and had lipstick on my teeth. Anyway, come back, watch again. Thanks for watching this time and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.